distinguished members of the press, fellow partisans of the Democratic Party, I'd like to welcome you to this very important and timely press conference called by the concerned Liberty partisans, both in Liberia and the United States of America, to speak to issues or unfolding issues that have been taking place in the Liberty Party. And so, without much ado, we will turn the cameras and all of the microphones over to the chairman of the Liberia uh, chapter of the Concerned Liberty Party Partisans in person of uh, Mr. Merchant. Amanda, away! Amanda, away! 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 Amanda, Frida, away! 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 Okay, thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, before we proceed, I wanted to observe a moment of silence in remembrance of our funding father, Councilor Charles Walker Rose. Thank you, say May so rest in peace. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, thanks for accepting to attend our press conference on matters affecting our party, the Liberty Party. We are thankful to God for the blessing of life. We have called you here today to express our strong view on things that are happening in the Liberty Party, making our party to now become a laughing stock in the public. It is our thinking that many partisans across the country and in America and other parts of the world are listening to hear the voice of a leader to explain what has gone wrong and what needs to be done to put our party back together. This seems not the case. Nobody has any effort to call a, a, a mass meeting of partisans to give a bit of explanation to us. So it appears like we have become a sheep without shepherd. Indeed, death is a greatest enemy of mankind. Read it. So there we go. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, our struggle with Liberty Party dates back many years when Councillor Bromsky, then Senator of Grand Basel County and leader of the Liberian Senate, disclosed himself as one of one of a strong character to make a, a change in the, pop, in the political chemistry of our country. We join him in the Liberty Party convinced that, that in both his private and public life, Councillor Charles Walker Bromsky led an exemplary private and public life. Councillor Charles Walker Bromsky led an exemplary life that was worthy of following. With this conviction, we sacrifice along with him and other well meaning librarians to take. I mean to keep this party together. Even during the most difficult time today, unfortunately, everything we spend, everything we spend our youthful times putting together appears to be going down the drain, to say the least. The Liberty Party is today experiencing several levels of internal division as a result of poor leadership skill. This division was made clear to the, to the general public when few weeks back ago, when what was meant to be a special general, I mean a special convention intended to, to solve internal problem has now turned out to be to be a vehicle for the destruction of our party. But this did not come as a, as a single event. It again grown over a long period of time with the with the full knowledge of our political leader. Madam Senator Yongli Kanga Lawrence working together with Senator Abraham Daros Dillon. Although these two personalities did not have very strong, and I retreat, I mean I repeat this, they do not have a very strong history with the Liberty Party, so that they will understand the pains and frustration we have endured over the years. They have, however, merged to be two influential persons by the virtue of the national leadership position they currently hold. From this vantage point, we had expected that they would use their individual and collective standing in the party to arrest what, what was fast approaching danger. This is not to be, this is not the case. In fact, 
they, they became direct conveyor belt for the problem now we have. As, it, as tension grew within the, within the party a few months back, we, the concerned liberty partisan, just by in the many parts of the world, but especially through our labyrinth chapter, invited, invited the political leader in separate meeting to, to register our concern about the views, division that was, that was coming up. In one such meeting, one with, I mean, in such meeting with our political leader here at the, at the national headquarters here, we confronted her with information we, we were receiving about partisan Musa Hassan Bireti and his intention to hear, to hear the Liberty Party as chairman. We were, we, were, we were concerned because there was information pointing what would appear to be an internal coup d'etat with the, with the involvement of with the involvement of some chairperson of the counties. Ladies and gentlemen, our political response to us was she she won't see Musa being chairman for political for Liberty Party as 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 he was not in the position to bring a small fraction of voting population to the party. Secondly, she informed us that she was she was in knowledge of the fact that participability was holding meetings with uh, Minister of State for Presidential Affairs, Honorable Natalia Mahe, and that she did not feel comfortable about. She said, she told us that she won't allow, I mean, she won't only use Musa to accomplish some dirty work for her. In as much, we could not oppose to participability vying for the ch ch chairmanship of the Liberty Party. We could not support a, a hostile takeover as it was appearing to be. But prior to all this, a segment of the National Executive Committee led by Madam Rookie Berry, Vice Chair for Administration, Martin Pula, Vice Chair for Planning, now Secretary General Erojala, Vice Chair for Operation, to name few, had embarked on a mission to, to bar participability into the idea of taking over the, the chairmanship from Senator Steve Zako, even before any thought of a leadership convention had been convened, I mean conceived, claiming that Senator Zago was not putting mo much money into the party. Interestingly, this very individual had had spurious alliance with Senator Zago and were in many cases encouraging him to, dr to draw a battle line with the political leader, Senator Nyongli Kanga Lawrence. In that time, they did not only entertain secret conversation with participability, but having him cheer LP, but also made another subtitle movie moves over chairperson of counties to undermine Senator, Senator, Senator Lawrence as political leader. They even solicited a, a resolution from, from the counties to oppose the political leader, call for a, for a retreat in Bikano, Grand Basel County. They have even prevailed on our late founding father, Councillor Charles Walker Bromskin, to make a quick comeback as a political leader, claiming that Senator Lawrence was in a secret deal with Mr. Elizana Cummins to honor my Councillor Charles Bromskin reappearing as political leader. It was the former Secretary General, Mr. Jacob J. Smith, who stood against this action, reasoning that hostility against the certain political leader who only bring Liberty Party into public disdain and undermine our standing in the CPP. He has said the appearance of Councillor Councillor Bromsky as political leader had to be done in a in a dignified manner, as opposed to what EC what some EC members were planning to do. As the as the internal raft intensified within the party, the same group switched the alliance with Senator Zago to the political leader, I mean to the PL and participability, both of whom, both of whom were now working together to see the ascendancy of Mr. Bidete to the chairmanship. This series of happenings, I mean, necessitated the, the, the holding of a retreat intended to foster reconciliation within the party. That retreat was held in Bikeno, where suggestion was made for an, an indictment of the party constitution. It was suggested and agreed that as the national convention was only 
Oh, they are the only body to actually rise to amend the constitution. Any suggestion language to the constitution should be taken to the national or special convention for approval. Unfortunately, following a review of the, the amendment, I mean, amendment uh, question by the, by the executive committee at the special sitting in Bikin as the national product, the final product, excuse me. Today, the Concerned Liberty Party resisted citing Article 8 of the 2015 Constitution, which clearly provides that it is only the national or special convention that can approve amendment of the Constitution before it is submitted to the National Election Commission. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it seems very obvious why the political leader and the triple alliance wanted the, the revised Constitution to bypass the required court amendment. Procedure as set forth in the 2015 LP Constitution, Mr. Berete had to become chairman of the party by September 2020, at least three months before the December 8, 2020 election, so that he will he will raise the needed campaign money for Mille Senator Nyombli Kanga Lawrence and Senator Darius Dillon. As further proof of this, a, 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 a traditional clause in, in that constitution has said. The entire executive committee, the entire executive committee will have been dissolved upon the coming into force of that constitution to facilitate the holding of said leadership convention. All of these moves were challenged and resisted by the other side, resisted by both chapter of the concerned liberty partisan, La Bureau and the United States of America on this ground. One that any such convention here on the one year of the death anniversary of the falling father would be a great disservice to his enormous I mean, sacrifices. Two, that the party, the party leader all hands on deck in view of the forthcoming December 8, 2020 election and that an airtime convention, especially with the looming confusion, will have limited Liberty Party and the CPP chances of securing additional seat in the Senate. Three, that it was the Liberty, it was in the Liberty Party interest to end the internal rap as intruders who take advantage of situation and tipping the, the divide in the party using group within. In retrospect, we we can only imagine that the narrative will have been like now if the quest of the team to have conducted the convention before December 8th election had not been resisted. As a chronology of events show, the political leader Senator Dillon and some executive committee members, mission was, was never driven by a desire to bring about any real change in the party that will only draft institution forward at the main as they were claiming. It was simply a self-centered move to facilitate their, their respective nine years job and to satisfy other interests. As a matter of fact, what set of, what set of reform does it represent for both the, the political leader and Senator Dillon to have senior staff in their offices and um, had a key position on the executive committee? What kind of reform does it represent for senior, I mean, for Senator Dillon to hold the position of chairman of the LP Legislative Caucus and vice chair for political affairs, in addition to his position as senator, which entitled him to, to be a member of the National Executive Committee? What reform, indeed, both Senator Dillon and the PL have acted on vastly, on a vastly in using their, their, their privileged position to, in, to engineer the ascendancy of Mr. Bility to the chairmanship without doing due diligence. We agree with Mr. Bility in rejecting Senator Dillon, characterizing, I mean, characterization of him as so being transformed to poor. This is pure deception, and I want to say this. This is pure deception. As you, as you, as you now know, Mr. Bility went public recently to reveal that he, Ben Roder, Senator Delon campaign. Hence, in this process, in this process, Musa Bereti appeared to be unsuspected victim in the court of public opinion and, and certainly an experimental sacrifice, sacrificial lamb. The concerned about the partisan understand the, the property demand.
from the public. Yes, as a key member of the opposition bloc represented by the CPP, we must indeed live above the fray. But on the other hand, we entreat the same public to allow us use our internal mechanism to deal with the with the seeming interpreted issue. As we start, therefore, to redeem the name of our party and to send a, a strong message to the to the public that Liberty Party subscribe to democratic principle and good governance. We here we here with demands that the following action be taken without delay. One. That Senator did not surrender the portfolio of vice chair for, for political affairs and hold on to the portfolio of chairman for the LP legislative caucus. Two, that in addition to that, Senator Delon should, should ensure that his chief of office staff, Mr. Martin Pula, should see reason to resign as Secretary General to avoid any semblance of bad governance practice. Three, that equally the political leaders should take similar action by prevailing on our political, I mean our political officer, Mr. Daniel Sandler, to resign as vice chair for press and propaganda, making him the official spokesperson of the party of the party, working directly in her office of, of the political leader. Four, that the office of the political leader together with the National Executive Committee should move swiftly to set up a, a broad base. From a broad-based national advisory council reflecting, re, reflecting ger, I mean, geographical balance and include people with, with impeccable character within the, within the party. Five, that upon the constitution, upon the constitution of the national advisory council, the council shall take seats of the wider I mean, uh, publicized claims of corruption cases against Mr. Hassan S. Bility so that he may have the opportunity to service his name from the, from the negative profile in the public. Six, in a similar direction, Madam Rookie Berry should make to account for 75 USD, 75,000 USD, 75,000 USD given to her for women empowerment in 2011. I reiterate that. That in similar direction, Madam Rookie Berry shall be made to account for 75,000 US and United States dollars given to her for women empowerment in 2011. Seven, that all former legislators, religious leaders, and former executive members shall be inclus inclusive with, I mean, of any major decision of the Liberty Party. Eight, that the vast share, vast share position within the executive be given to any partisan that has served over 10 years, over the period of 10 years, and with Good integrity. Nine, that the contest should be visited every year to show how strong the party stands across uh, across our I mean, across our political subdivision. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the media, the concerned about the party are, are of the view that in the last few days, much has been done, justly or unjustly, to erode the good brand. Liberty, I mean, the LP carries as an interpreted institution. We are convinced, however, that this can be corrected so that the Liberty Party will remain the party of trust in her, I mean, it has been, it has always been. Thank you very much. Thank you so kindly. May God bless our nation and bless our beloved party. Together, we can yeah. move yeah. 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 Roll, 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 Liberty Party, roll, roll. Row, 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 never the party row, row. The party and the party chairman has spoken, the, the chairman has spoken, row, row. Aluta. Amanda. Away. To. Amanda. Away. To. Amanda, Africa, nigga, away. To. Away. To. I want to pass it. I want to do. Yeah. I want to pass it. I want to do. Yeah. Reaction never tennis. A bass. Reaction never tennis. A bass. For what official. A bass. For what official. A bass. 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 Thank you very much. Well, we've heard the chairman of the Concerned Liberty Party Partisans, the Liberian chapter, read distinctly a uh, statement, strong statement, with more clarity. Uh, we, will con we will consider three questions at most from the media, and then we'll wrap up on this press conference. We okay, my we'll, name we'll take first the female. Yeah. My name is Hannah Kepemina, and I write for the newspaper. So, 
listening to the press statement that you just read, um, I would like for you to clearly clarify whether this thing is a party, is a leadership struggle within the Liberty Party. And to all of those recommendations that you read, that the, leader, the political leaders should be able to add on, what would be the next step if she doesn't listen to these concerns? Thank you. To start with your first question, it is on leadership struggle. Over the time, the other party has not experienced any bad leadership on them, I mean, I mean, besides on them, I mean, uh, Yomri Kanga Lawrence. To give you evidence of what we're speaking about, before the convention was declared, there were influence over county chairperson to sign a resolution petitioning on mobility as chairman when there was no convention declared open. We saw that as a disservice to the partisans that had the Liberty Party built this foundation. So, to go to your second question, we have our strategy. If she doesn't listen, we are open to reconciliation. We are open to settle down with our, with our party. But if she doesn't listen, we have our next strategy. Our next course of action will be showing to the public soon. All right, so my name is Prince, and I report for Prime FM. Uh, I'd like to know from you, uh, with all that you outlined, why didn't you make you seem clear to the party uh, when uh, Belete expressed interest to contesting for the chairmanship uh, the, before the convention, but you coming out after the convention is here, and you know that they were clauses within your constitution that stated that when the uh, founding member, I mean, founding father of the party dies, they are time free before elections. Uh, don't you think the public will see this your call as being fielded with uh, an invisible hands? No. Before reaching this far, there was a series of attempts made to meet the, 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 the political leader. In one meeting that I outlined in his, in his press release, she had a meeting here with us. And she said, Excuse me, Press, he said, over her dead husband to see Benedict become chairman. That Benedict cannot come to give 2% vote to the Liberty Party. In the same press release, it tells you that she said, uh, Benedict was in constant communication with Nathan Mandela, which we're not comfortable with. So she cannot see Benedict becoming chairman. We make another effort to go grand bazaar. The women here went and slept with her. And she said, in no way she can allow Benedict to be chairman. So to answer your question, that's where we stop. And we got evidence writing her, we wrote her, inviting her to a meeting to give her this clarity. And she said she, she, she don't have the time because she was competing. So that's where we stop with her. That's why we came this far. Okay, so we will take follow-up follow 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 from you, then we close up with uh, Spoon, Spoon TV. I'll follow up to his question. You said when she engaged, when, when you people engaged political leaders, she refused to allow that it becomes the next chairman of the Liberty Party. So in your mind, what do you think that motivated the political leader to allow Benete to serve as chairman for this noble institution? Thank you. Did you show induced? I, 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 I made it clear here. It was campaign time. So we believe that Madam Yombly and Senator Dillo, they're the one that influenced Benete more because they need a, they need a campaign form. That means Belete gave them money to influence them. And Belete made it clear recently that, that he been rooted for the uh, 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 that was the wrong campaign. So here what are you changing? So, so we'll take, yeah, we'll take, we'll take final thank question you. from... Okay, so he, he says no. No question, no further question. With that, we'll say thank you so much for...